If you've been on the market for handheld gimbals, then you're probably familiar with the Zhiyun Crane 2 and the Moza Air, two very popular gimbals at the moment. And I have both, and we're gonna test them out, baby. Oh, and we'll throw on the Zhiyun Crane V2, just for the fun of it. Okay, so before we get to see some footage, let's talk about first impressions and a practical overview for each gimbal, starting with the Zhiyun Crane 2. The Crane 2 comes in a very robust case. It's not a hard shell case like the one the Crane V2 comes in, but it's secure enough to know that the gimbal is well protected. Inside the case is the Crane 2 in all its glory, along with the batteries, charger, accessory box filled with USB cables, and my personal favorite, a mini tabletop tripod that attaches to the bottom of the gimbal, which makes balancing any gimbal much, much easier. Next, the Moza Air. The Moza Air comes in a hard shell case, which was a very nice touch. It's similar to the hard shell case from the Crane V2, except a little bigger. Inside the case is the gimbal, along with the batteries, charger, a bag of USB cables, a quick release base and plate, very nice, a mini tabletop tripod, a cleaning kit, lens support bracket, and and the extended handle and grips to turn this bad boy to this badder boy. Well done, Moza Air. Well done. And finally, the Zhiyun Crane V2. Not to be confused with the Crane 2. The Crane V2 comes in a hard shell case with foam cutouts of the gimbal and accessories. You got your batteries, charger, micro USB cable, lens support bracket, and two quarter 20 screws to attach your camera to the gimbal. But this case isn't big enough to fit extended handles like the Moza Air does, but the good people at Zhiyun sent me the extended handle and grips to test out alongside the Moza Air, so we'll get to see that in a second. Well done, Zhiyun. Well done. Okay, let's talk design and function. By far, the Crane 2 is the most robust and sturdy gimbal out of the three. Everything from the top down just looks and feels right. The gimbal can support camera setups up to seven pounds, which is insane for a handheld gimbal and makes it very competitive with bigger gimbals like the Ronin M. This gimbal is so good, it just, it just, it just makes me feel right. The Moza Air has a somewhat sturdy build and can hold camera setups up to 5.5 pounds. There's a bit of a smooth texture on the handle of the gimbal, as well as the extended handle and grips. In fact, it might be a little too smooth and I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing, especially if you're suspending your camera in midair. Where the Moza Air does win is that it features a quarter 20 thread on the gimbal. That's super helpful, especially if you want to add a monitor, a light, or a mic as you hold the gimbal. On to the Crane V2. The build quality of the Crane V2 is pretty solid from the top down and can hold camera setups up to 3.9 pounds. The handle is the thinnest out of the three gimbals, but seems to be more solid than the Moza Air handle. It's pretty much a mini Crane 2, except the seven pound payload and fancy bells and whistles. As far as functionality goes, the Crane 2 has the most tech built in. It has a power button, which is self-explanatory. It has a mode button to activate the different modes of the gimbal. Press once for lock mode, which locks the tilt and allows you to move on the horizontal axis or the yaw. Press twice for follow mode, which enables all axes. And press the button three times to activate selfie mode. It has a joystick, which makes panning and tilting the gimbal really easy to use and lastly it has a menu button that allows you to choose certain options in the built-in screen. I won't go through all the options but the best feature by far in the menu is the option to choose the sensitivity of the gimbal depending on how light or heavy your camera is. Ah, this, this gimbal just makes me feel right. Now, the most unique feature about the Crane 2 is the follow focus dial, which gives you control of the focus of your lens. That's insane. Now, at the time of this recording, it currently supports Canon cameras, but I'm sure they'll have support for cameras like Sony and Panasonic with a firmware update pretty soon. And the last thing about the Crane 2 is that it has a standard Manfrotto quick release base and plate. Now, this is incredibly practical, especially if you want to switch the camera from the gimbal to a tripod with a standard Manfrotto PL plate, which most tripods already have. Genius, Zhiyun. Pure genius. Okay, next gimbal. The Moza Air has a very minimal design, which I like. It has a power button and a joystick that also functions as a mode button if you press it. Press it once to lock the tilt and follow the yaw. Press it twice to activate the tilt and yaw, and press it three times to activate all axes. Actually, there's a fourth one. And finally, press and hold the button to put in standby mode. And that's it. Next, the Crane V2 has a power button, which you can also use to take photos depending on the camera. It also has a zoom in, zoom out feature. It has a joystick for panning and tilting, and it has a mode button to activate the different modes of the gimbal, just like the Crane 2. Now, all three gimbals are pretty easy to balance, especially if you balance gimbals before. Not one was particularly faster than the other to assemble or to balance, so I'm not gonna spend too much time going over that. But what I do wanna spend time on is to see some actual footage. And what better way to compare each gimbal than to use them in a sport that's so athletic so prestigious, a sport that happens once every four years. That's right, you've guessed it, none other than the All-American Speedwalking Competition. Here we go.
Wow, what a titillating event. So overall, I personally thought the Crane 2 outperformed the other gimbals hands down. They were all easy to use, but the Crane 2 felt the smoothest to operate. The motors in the Crane 2 are insane, especially with the ability to support camera setups up to seven pounds. So why wouldn't you get this gimbal? It's like you're almost future-proofing yourself if you intend to add heavier lenses or accessories like a monitor, mic, or light onto the gimbal. But if you don't plan on adding heavier items and just want to use the camera by itself, then the Moza Air and Crane V2 are great options for you. But as for me, my new new favorite gimbal is the Crane 2. It is such a beast of a gimbal and I definitely plan on adding heavier lenses and accessories in the future. But that's just one man's opinion. I want to know what you guys think of the Crane 2 or which gimbal you prefer. Let me know in the comments below because communication is so essential to a lasting relationship. Anyway, huge thanks to Ziyun for sending me the Crane 2. I am absolutely in love with the gimbal. It is so beastly and so beautiful and I, I just feel so right with it. If you guys have any questions about filmmaking or camera gear, let me know in the comments below or hit me up in Instagram or Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't done so and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!